Hi Floss Tubers. This is Vicki from Stitch and Button. This is my seventh video and today is March 2nd. It's Tuesday, March 2nd. I, uh, well, I was gonna hold off on doing a video because I haven't been feeling well. I, my blood pressure has been a little bit crazy, but I went and saw the doctor yesterday and I'm feeling better and the longer I wait, the longer the video is going to be. So I just figured, let me pump this out. So I'm not looking fabulous. I changed out of my jammy shirt for you. Put on my Eagles. We're good. That's where I'm at. I, uh, I have a bunch of acquisitions. Only because, don't get it twisted, I'm not, I don't have that much money, but I've been buying for a few months and having them hold it, hold it, hold it, and then finally ship one big box for me. It just, I didn't need it right away, and it shaves on, saves on shipping. Uh, I'm not going to show you those acquisitions just yet. My first, first up on the docket would be obviously what everybody else is talking about. Um... Take a breath. Last week, a friend of mine contacted me. Actually, she put up a post. And it didn't sound great. And it sounded like she was going to not do floss tube anymore. And she was upset. So I waited a day. I just wanted to see what would happen. You know, sometimes people are just mad and they post things. But she had done it on her Facebook and her Instagram and it's not like her so the next day I contacted her and I asked her what happened and she started telling me what happened and we ended up on the phone and we both cried and I got angry I had an angry cry I made up new cuss words I wanted to go full on South Philly and grab my bat and curb stomp somebody. Something needed to happen. So, after a long talk with her, I'm talking about Ginger from GG's and Stitches. After a long talk with her, and I talked to her the next day. I think we were on the phone until 4 o'clock in the morning, video chatting. And she told me everything that happened. And basically somebody, I'm sure you've heard from a couple of the other floss tubers you've watched. Somebody went and created a fake email account so they could create a fake Facebook account. And they messaged her and they said some horrible, horrible things to her for no reason. This happened to a person that never wishes anybody any bad, no matter who they are. And you can see when, if you haven't seen her video, go watch it. You can see even then she doesn't wish them bad. I personally hope they get ingrown toenails that fester into some kind of fungus and probably lose half their feet. That's how I am right now. I hope their tongue falls out of their mouth for the words that they had to say to this woman. It was unnecessary. No one should ever be spoken to like that. We all make fun in jest, and I'm not saying it's always great, but for you to walk up to somebody, you wouldn't do it in person. Would you go up to somebody in person and say you're retarded, you should disappear? Who does that? So you're going to hide behind a fake account and do a little hit and run and upset somebody? Not only did you upset her, you upset her husband because he was angry somebody said that to his wife. You upset her children? What is wrong with these people? It's unacceptable. I then told her that... I wasn't just going to sit back and I started contacting people. I started contacting a couple of the people that she said this person had listed as above her. She's not in their league. She never asked to be, first of all. She never wanted 5,000 subscribers. She just wanted to do her little floss tube and enjoy it and hopefully do a service for some, for some of the deaf community because her daughter does ASL. So I don't ask for for the floss tomb fame and I did contact somebody and I and we were talking and we agreed we'd rather have no viewers than a thousand viewers like this person 
because I have bad words to say and I'm going to try not to. But we have, we would rather have no viewers than a thousand or five thousand of these people. We don't want them in our world. We don't want them around us. We don't want them talking to us. It's unacceptable. So, like I said, I, I, I went and I contacted a bunch of people. I needed her to know that it was not okay, that other people didn't think it was okay, and that she had an army behind her. She need, she needed to know that this is not how everybody felt. It hurt her. It hurt her family. And then she had to stand up because now her children are watching her get bullied. Bullied. We're grown. And, you know, in, in discussing this with my boyfriend, his daughter, who's 12, was there and she heard me. You know, I wanted her to know that this is happening. She said it happens in school all the time. Now, I know that there's bullying going on in school. I know it goes through social media. I'm not naive when it comes to that. I know there is. It's still unacceptable. And I'll fight it one at a time. Each one I come up to, I will fight it. I'm not going to stand for it. You have something to say? Come say it to me. I got strong shoulders. I'll come right back at you. <laughs> I think I'd hurt your feelings before you hurt mine. But don't do it to somebody that's so unassuming, so sweet, never a bad word. Even then, she had no bad words. I, I, I don't get it. I, I can't imagine being that nice. I love her for it. But I can't, I can't be that nice. It's unacceptable. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know. What, what if she was in such a fragile mental state that that one message was the one that caused her to harm herself? People need to think before they speak, and they need to stop being mean to one another. Social media is not your outlet to be a keyboard warrior and go and attack people. I'm going to step off my soapbox. Anyway, Ginger knows I love her. She knows if she needs anything, she can contact me. She can call me. She can message me. And as she said... I hope it didn't happen to anybody else. And if it has happened to you, let us know. You don't have to do it in a video. Let us know. Contact us. We we don't want you to feel that way. We don't all feel that way. I would guarantee that probably 99.98% of us do not feel that way. So don't let the mean things from one person kill your sunshine. What did I, I say that all the time, don't I? Don't let them take your sunshine away. Okay. On to what I've been stitching. I don't have any finishes. I haven't really felt good. I've been trying to get one thing done that I'm doing for a friend of mine. Um, it's been going pretty good and then I sort of stalled and then I picked it back up again. I'm doing this skull. I'm trying to see if I this fabric, I'm trying to see if it, it's not really coming up almost like that. This was, believe it or not, a pink napkin. It's a pink Irish linen napkin, and I got it from, I got a set of them and a tablecloth from thrift store. That's about as far as I've gotten on that. And I went to a workshop at Vicki Clayton's factory few years I guess it's more than a few years ago now um, it's got to be like five six years seven years ago and she showed us how to paint dye onto your fabric so what, what uh, my friend Gina and I did we took some fabric up and we actually bought some fabric from her and this was a pink they, I mean if you look it's the binding it was pink and I don't even know if I said this on my other video I don't care if you heard it listen again or fast forward Anyway, so we dyed it, and it's got greens and yellows in it, and, um, oh, here it is. Here's the picture. I'm almost done. I had to actually pick out, I had to frog out this whole part right here. I was off by two stitches. I thought it was the pattern, because in this pattern, there's a couple of things in the pattern where I had to add a couple stitches so it matched the other side, because it's basically mirror imaged. So I thought that's what it was. It wasn't. It was me this time. I had to pick out all this and put it all back in. So it slowed me down. But And then I hadn't feel, felt good for a couple of days. 
so I didn't get too much in, but I did try to stitch every day anyway, even if it was just one length of thread, just get some done. So I'm down this far, I have the other part of the jaw, and then I'm done. And then I have to um, get in my frame box, which if you notice, there's a different background. I just, I brought you onto my craft table where I usually do the beading and sewing because I had so much stuff. Um, I'll get into more of my stitching real quick, but while I have this here, I started making new a new product. I got these, um, I'll show this. I got these pendants. And I made them into needle minders. And I put the chain around it, connected it to itself, and left it long. And then I added a needle on the end of it with some beads. So how it works is, as you can tell, it'll hold a needle with a piece of thread on it. It will not hold the needle with the beads on it. It's a little too heavy with the glass in front of it and everything. So what I do is, and I actually needed it, that's why it's on here because I ended up actually using it because I had to pick all that out. You go and you do your picking. And then when you're done, you just put it on the back. Chain's magnetic and everything. And it sits right there in the back out of the way. I kept it long because you can bunch it up like that. And plus, you don't have to actually take the needle off. You don't have to take the needle minder off. Even if you have a big project, it should pretty much fit on almost any project. So your needle's always there to frog if you need to. Of course, I don't wish you frogging, but it happens. We all know it happens. So those are going to go up on my Etsy site either tomorrow or the next day. Like I said, I wasn't feeling good, so I didn't take pictures, really good pictures of them, and get those put up there, but that's a plan. I, um, put this over here so I lose my stuff. Uh, I have a list of stuff. I have not worked too much on things I did a little bit I do believe I did a little bit if I'm not mistaken I did like this line right here on Poe he should be done by now he honestly should be I sort of slacked I got I saw this skull I wanted to do it for a friend of mine he needs to pick me up and I went full on all skull when I wasn't doing beating or other things for orders. So Poe got, he's feeling a little some kind of way. I'll finish him. He's next on the list of stuff to be finished. That and I did a little bit. I'm trying not to have this tower of things fall over. I did a little bit on beans beans and i know stitcherista started this one she's doing hers on a on a cool i think it's an orange color fabric i uh, this is vicky clayton oh i guess i should tell you that's dmc on the skull with that and if you like that that designer i'll link it it's happy stitches for you this takes at least two skeins of black so if you're planning on doing it, make sure you have at least two skeins of black. I know Dark Side Stitcher has 55 skeins of black because most of the stuff she does is black. Don't deny it, Jen. You know it. Anyway, this is Vicki Clayton Silks. I know I've said that before. And Vicki Clayton Fabric. And my Needle Minder. I don't know if this particular color is up on my Etsy, but I do have more of these coffee cup Needle Minders that are made out of wood. They're pretty cool. Okay, now there's going to be a sale. Uh, Bewitch Stitches is going to have a three-month sale. It's uh, Salem Summer, Summer Salem, something like that. And so I've decided I'm going to, instead of starting a new one, I am going to try to get more done on this. This is Salem Remembered. This is a 36-count fabric, and I'm doing it one over one. And I think that's why I haven't whipped it all up together already. 
That needle minder is from Pinoy on Etsy. I'll have to make sure to put a link for that. Love that. Uh, and I, and it's a sale I remembered from the Primitive Needle, so I know I have to rechart the one name, and I printed out a picture of it because I only have my working copy out. I, I write all over everything. Here's the picture of that. Down here, there's a name, Samuel Wardell, and it should say Ward Well. So I'm going to have to move that one name over when I get there, if I ever get there, right? So that, I know, is on the list of things I gotta change. And I guess I'm gonna go on to haul, acquisitions, purchases, coveting of the stitchy things. Okay. Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42. She is very kindly passing the stash when she's done Mr. Squidly, the eloquent squid, by Eloquent Squid by Ink Circles. She's almost, I think she's on the last squid and it looks gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So she's actually gonna pass that on to me. So I was a little preemptive. I'll probably use a sort of neutral fabric on it just so my threads pop. And I wanted to go a little different. Yes, I love Victoria Motto Sampler threads and everybody's seen Gast, and everybody's seen Weeks Dye Works, and everybody's seen Classic Color Works. So I went a little bit different because I'm different. I'm okay with that. I went with, I went on Dames of the Needle Etsy site, and she carries Rami Creations threads. It's an Italian lady that does threads. And I picked out these colors to do my squid. These are named Dark Shadow for the Green and River Rock for the Gray. So while she did, while Audrey's doing hers in a sort of black color and a turquoise, mine are more like a greeny turquoise, if you could see. I wanted a lot of variegation for that because of the ink circles being, you know, only the two colors. And the gray isn't as variegated. It's just got some dark spots, but... That's what I'm going with. And these are 10 meters, so I'm probably gonna have way extra. I think she said she used three skeins of one and two skeins of another, if I'm not mistaken. And I probably could have went with half of what I have, but that's okay. And I'll link Elizabeth's Etsy site, Dames of the Needle, uh, down below also. So if you're interested in Rod, she's got a lot of great colors. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and uh, take a look at all those. Now, they're like I said, they're 10 meters, and I think they're $4 a skein. That's not too bad. I... Let me put this over here. I am doing the sale for Here Lines. Here Lie My Needles. Or Broken Needles, right, Bendy? Finally bought... I, I ordered it, and I got it in this big box of stuff that I bought. That's it. I don't have Weeks Dye Works wool, but I have two tubs of wool up there, and I'm sure I can find something that'll work with this. I am going to get on and on the sale with that, but my priority is just to get the skull done first. Prior acquisitions, real quick, I forgot to add like two videos ago because I'm scatterbrained like that. I went on Lindy Stitches with Stephanie from Lindy Stitches. I went on her Etsy site and I had purchased two charts and this cute pair of scissors. It's got a little, I forget how much they were. They weren't that much. And I thought they were cute. There's little spools on in different colors. And I added one of my scissor fobs on there. It's got a little silk spool or silk bobbin on it. I, that's my uh, my scissor fobs. And I bought two of her charts because I thought they'd look cute. One says, just add bacon. And one says, just add butter. Paula Dean, all the way. Just add butter. So, 
I just printed those out for this because I I'm not doing it right away, but I want to, I definitely want to do it. So I also, I was on stash unloading and I got this. This is 28 count cashel. It's a charcoal gray and let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much the color. Not quite black, just a dusty gray. I have some of the uh, chalkboard series months, so I figured I should get this. This was a fat quarter that I got. I usually do 32 count, but 28 counts good, and it was a good price. I cashed in on a little bit from Attic Needlework. It's all McKenna's fault. I was watching, she had this live video, I started watching, I went to join the group, and I found some things, and she tried to say, oh, well, I'll hold it, and now I'm putting up more. I said, no, I'm going to pay for this, and that's it, because I knew. Anyway, what I was able to get was September, October, I really like October, and it, I... I know that these came as kits at one point, and I think that's why it says $19, but that she sold just the chart for $2.60. How could you not? And then the plums. I know that um, Christine from Stitch All the Things also has this one, and yes, they definitely need to be blackbirds. And then the photo booth series. I did the snowmen, and I have the Frankenstein and the and the ghost one, I have that already. And this was only eight bucks, so I had to go with Father Time and Baby New Year. And the reason why, I, believe it or not, it's not even my favorite, but I had to because I'm from Philly, and every year there's a New Year's parade, and it's called the Mummers, and I was part of the Mummers. Absolutely love it. It's a parade that's been going on for 110 years. Over, oh my goodness, probably 120 years now. If you've never heard of it, check it out. I'll have to uh, put a link. Let me write that down. Lindy Stitches and Mummers. And Dames of the Needle. Anyway, the Mummers, they dress up. It's almost like... Uh, Mardi Gras, but it's New Year's, lots of feathers, lots of sequins, lots of dancing, lots of satin, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of big everything, so the New Year sentiment, I had to go with that. I was at Walmart walking by their clearance bin, and for $1.92, I got almost a full yard, it's like an inch short of a full yard of this fabric, and it was half off. It's pink bandana fabric here. How cute is that? I figured I could either make, I, I know I can make a um, project bag out of that. I can make, I don't know, maybe I'll make grind guards out of it instead. I don't know, limited edition grind guards. Anybody, let me know what you think. I went to Joanne's. And I got this on sale. This has definitely got to be a project bag. Today's attitude, no, today's good mood is sponsored by coffee. Love that. Got that on sale. Then, uh, Bendy Stitchy made me do it. I bought this fabric. Llama. I'm pretty sure that's a llama, isn't it? Mayama llama. I don't know if this is any different. Anyway, great fabric. And for the inside, I chose this. Because Frida can't just have little florals. I thought she needed something a little bright and flashy. And then I'm doing a special project with this. I'm not going to talk about the project right now, but I did get this fabric. And 
if it looks like it's got stains, it's because it does. It, it has like this coffee stain looking thing. It looks very prim. And uh, let me see if I can get it the right side up. Okay. It's got birds. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. That fabric. That's trash. Oh, and a zipper for the project bag. And I took the advice from their original tutorial for the project bag and I bought the Easy Steam. It's two sided adhesive that'll help hold the hellacious vinyl that disappeared on me. I don't know if you remember. If you haven't watched that one, you should probably watch that so you can laugh at me. Anyway, this is supposed to hold the, the vinyl in place. So I figured I'd grab that. They didn't have it the last time I went to, the time before when I went to Walmart. They had it this time, so I, I grabbed that real quick. I, oh, I forgot. Back to stitchy stuff. I am, I think I got in a few stitches on this Riola's kit that I'm doing with a friend of mine. Story night. And I think since my last video, I did get in a few stitches. I think I did all this up here. This is 14 count with the called for threads. Um, well, with the threads from the kit, they're sort of like a wool. They're sort of kind of fuzzy. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. They Although they tell you not to park your threads, like carry them over too far, or else you're going to run out of thread. But sometimes you really need to on that. Um, and I put that in... Yeah, I didn't want to fold it, so it's in my project bag, but I didn't want to fold it to make it fit. I'm going to put this over here. Okay. I got an order from Jen at the Hull Stitch and Caboodle. This is the one where I had her hold it for a while and just send me a whole bunch of things at once. Let's start with the... The extras that I like to call them. I bought this chart holder. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I saw it and I said, you know what? Let me try it because I'm going blind, I guess. I don't know. I Better glasses, getting all, all of the above. And I'm trying to grab a Q-snap. And basically, just in case you haven't seen it, it snaps on your Q-snap and holds your chart right there. Well, I guess I have to put a piece of cardboard behind it and lightweight, huh? Huh? Floppy paper. Of course, it's Florida and it is humid here, so definitely a little piece of cardboard is going to have to do. And I'm trying to get this stuff out of the way. All right. I am going to be doing some framing, so I got some stitchery tape. And oh, I've been waiting for stretcher bars. I have a homework to do. I'm going to a retreat. I'm going to the Prim Stitcher Society retreat up in Harrisburg at the end of the month. I'll be hanging out with my, my BFF for a few days, Gina. And uh, so we were able to save money on that because she lives 10 minutes away. So we get to stay at her house and then we, we opted to get the classes and the uh, banquet. So I bought stretcher bars because the, the things that I need to stitch are small. And I think I like them. I've never used them before. I think I saw Gerald use them. And I want to say I saw Stitcherisa Danielle use them. The coffee stitcher and Danielle. So I said, well, let me give it a try. Not bad, I think. I mean, it's torn enough. And it's my poop. I think it's funny. I got a bad humor like that. That's available on my Etsy. Little poop charm. And of course you need to be able to tack it. I bought six inches. I got the five inches too. Because I have a couple of Mill Hill kits that I want to do. So I made sure to get two different sizes to... Make sure, because I wasn't sure what size I wanted and how I'd like it. And there's 75 different sizes. Also, Q-Snap. Uh, 
the replacement clamps for the frames. Eight inch. I don't know what I do to my eight inch. I think this is packs three and four in the past year that I bought. Not that I've broken the other ones. It's I have a whole bunch of few snaps. Oh, you can't quite see it, but there's a bunch back there. But I'm always needing eight inch clamps. And then I also needed the eight and a half. This is for the 11 inch frame, which I need those too because it's driving me crazy. Uh, stitch tree tape. Charts. Charts, charts, charts. I am not taking them all out of the plastic. I will try not to have a glare. A lot of people have seen these anyway, but I'm going to share it anyway. A sheep in pants. Warm winter. Welcome. Woolens. This one's from Little House Needlework. Had to get that. I jumped a l on the back end of the Lizzie Kate thing because I have some of hers. And I used to buy a whole bunch because I really liked them. And then I sort of grew out of them. And towards the end, I wasn't really liking the new stuff that she had. But there were a few that I wanted to make sure I got before I couldn't get them anymore. And then somebody was trying to sell it for $350. Like some asshole. I don't know. Anyway, I got snow. Although, I don't like to touch snow for some reason. I like winter patterns and snow patterns and snowman patterns. So this is... The little half kitted, I guess how you can say. It's got the beads and the charm and the fabric. Uh, BYOF, bring your own floss. <coughs> I also, because coffee is life, I got a little coffee. And that also comes with the little sundries and whatnots. And Sunshine Beach. Because I'm in Florida. Why not? And beach. I really, for some reason, I was pulled to the Florida, Florida mix samples. And I don't know why I didn't see them when they were new. So I ended up getting the couple that I wanted. I got the farm one. And I'm not jumping on the bandwagon. I've always sort of liked farm things. I like cows. I'll, actually, I like cows a lot more than sheep, believe it or not. But that's cute. It's even got a pig, chicken, and I don't know. I have charms. Maybe I'll, I, I mean, I bead. I do charms. I do stuff. Maybe I'll put charms on there instead of stitch all of them, huh? Uh, 2011 Ornaments Flora McSample. Itchy nose. Just like this one. All right. Now, Beth. Love Beth from Summerhouse Stitchworks. She had a trio set called Home Hive Nest. I I wasn't crazy about the home one. I didn't see me doing it. I, I'm not into stitching a whole bunch of houses. But I did get... I like bird houses. So I bought Nest. Which I had before. But for some reason wasn't in my cross stitch app. So I had pulled it out. Um, this is the one I added to it. I wanted to get hive. That hive looks like it's going to take a year and a day to do, but it's all slanted satin stitches, so that's easy. I don't know why I didn't have this before. I thought I did. I don't. The Trilogy. Cheer. I just think that's so cute. That'll be a quick stitch. This. Somebody actually gifted this to me from the, from the group. Halloween Town. My friend Sharon. She's great. She knew I'd love it. And this came all with the same order. And I absolutely love Wizard of Oz. I know Bendy's into Alice in Wonderland deep. And of course Han. And I know a lot of people like different things. And my one thing, my one childhood is Wizard of Oz. So I had to buy Dorothy's Discovery from Silver Creek Samplers. <laughs> and it's true. It says the... The power is there whenever you choose. It's found in the heart, not in your shoes. Excuse me. I need to bling this up, though. I need to bling up the shoes. And I know in the book, they're silver. I'm attached to the movie. I go by the movie. The shoes need to be sparkly ruby red. So, I don't know if I'm going to do it all in red beads or if I'm going to get some braid. The Emerald City. 
that needs to be blinged up. It needs to shine. So I don't know if I'm going to do all beads, all braided filament, or do like half and half. We'll see what I can find. <coughs> and compare it to what I have because I like to pull from my stash first. Jardin Privé. This one is in French. I don't know the name. Patchwork something. I like it because of the motifs. Everything about sewing and stitching and all, all that crafty stuff. This one, I think it's the reindeer. I don't know what it is. This one's reindeer games from Country Cottage. <coughs> Allergies are killing me. Everything's blooming. Stitchy Witch 42. Hey, Audrey. Remember you showed yours? I told you I got one too. Sounds like a stitch along. <laughs> 